Hi, this is Carl, and this is another SOP video for managed service providers. Today, I want to talk about naming conventions for files and folders. You know, this is another one of these picky little things that once you have a process in place, it will save you lots of time down the road. Now, you can always search for something, but we've all been in the situation where you don't know exactly what a folder was named or what a file was named. You know what the topic is, but you know, if you leave people to their own resources, it's amazing the kinds of names that they will come up with. So we'll talk about date formats another time, but in terms of file names, I highly recommend that you basically name your files in such a way that they are self-sorting. For example, never, ever, ever start a standard operating procedure with the name how to, because you'll have an entire folder, 90% of which is how to. So forget the how to, right? Let's say you're going to talk about how to do invoicing in QuickBooks. Okay, great. The first name that should be in that file name is QuickBooks, and then the second thing should be invoicing, right? Now, if your brain works just a little bit differently, you might put invoicing QuickBooks. Part of this depends on your operating procedures. For example, if you use the PSA for invoicing, then you might have invoicing ConnectWise, invoicing Autotask, invoicing QuickBooks, or something related to that. But the point is, you're not going to have it under how to or under financial processes and procedures or monthly invoicing, right? Monthly is another one, monthly, weekly, daily. Those are words you should eliminate. The first word in any process or procedure should be the single most important word people are going to be looking for. And the second should be the second. Right? That just makes it so much easier for people to find stuff. In a perfect world, when somebody goes to look for a file or a folder, it will be in the first place they look. And that includes you. So if you go to look for something and you can't find it after a few attempts, when you finally find it, name it the name it should have had, put it where it should have been, and then go inform your staff, whoever named it, that there's a better way to do this. So part of this, as I mentioned, depends on how your brain works. But at a minimum, if you think about what's the first and second most important words in the title, put those first. Remember, you're not writing a book here, so the, the name of your file doesn't have to be a, a perfect, beautiful sentence. It can be fairly choppy. Invoicing, QuickBooks, right? That's all you have to have. And then this allows you to have everybody on your staff contribute to documentation because they will all do it the same way. You can not have two sets of invoicing documents simply because as soon as somebody goes to create one, they're going to see that there's one that's already got that name. The most perfect example of this is when you get a new process, a new procedure, and you hand it to somebody, you should be able to go ahead an hour later or whatever and go look for it, find it exactly where it should be, and look for the name that you expect, and that name will be the name of that file. So it's going to take a little practice. You have to make sure that your team as a whole understands a handful of rules but basically it's a great way to shortcut finding things very quickly without having to do a lengthy search through all of the files and folders. And of course, all of your documentation should be in a place that makes sense, whether that's inside of a piece of software, such as IT Glue or your PSA or whatever, or whether it is simply a series of files and folders within a directory that are in Word, Excel, PowerPoint, so forth. Standardize, standardize, standardize. That's how you save money. For Small Biz Thoughts, this is Carl Polichuk wishing you the best of luck in your managed service business. Please like, share, subscribe, 
And don't forget to ring that bell so you can be notified when we post a new video.